Science, briefly circling back to Kenny Beach. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Let me state for the fact. If people want to go to court about this, holy sh- hoo -hoo, I'm going to have the most petty field day of my life. There is nobody stopping anyone from doing, from going out to sheep range. It's uh, basically open country hiking. There are regulations, you know, protecting uh, Native American sites, for example, there are places where there's ancient uh, petroglyphs. Uh, basically, uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, you know, basically what is like rock climbing with the where they have like you know basically uh, use of intrusive equipment that is, to my knowledge, not legal. That is illegal, not allowed, not permitted because that would damage the rocks. I've seen people damage rocks. Um, if it's unintentional, that's one thing, but uh, if rocks are falling out off as some type of exciting YouTubing, uh, I think I think that's a problem. Okay. Um, the environment itself damages massively. I've seen on the ridgeline, there's been massive tree trunks unrooted, and you see destruction of the earth. So... Uh, you could make the argument nature itself destroys nature and mountains will be worn down over time. But there is, first of all, there is no one stopping anybody from doing an investigation of Kenny Beach. This is, I can, I can stay out there all day and all night and nobody is going to fucking stop me. Okay, so basically if someone is saying, uh, there's basically someone, they're, they're getting pushback. Well, I don't know who's pushing, pushing them. Okay, um. Uh, you know, that's that's not my problem because I'm not experiencing that problem. So if someone else is experiencing that problem, I can't I, I can't explain why they are. Um, but no, nobody as a whole, nobody is preventing anybody from doing an investigation out there. If I want to, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up. But if I want to, I can probe Sean's cave all day and all night with a little um, flashlight. Uh, if, if I have one of those, whatchamacallit, the, uh, uh, what is that, what is that shit they, they stick down your throat? Uh, endoscope thing? If I had a mini endoscope, I can, I can, I can, I, I can hunt that cave all day and all night. No one's gonna fucking stop me. I just, I just want, I just want you all to understand that. <laughs> okay, um, but as it relates to, we we're shifting now to a different topic. Why doesn't... You want to know why this circled? Guess what this is? No doubt. It's Midway. You know what happened here? Japan, Nippon, lost four aircraft carriers. And after, ever since then, this is politically incorrect history, ever since they lost the war, they're no longer a normal country, as vis-a-vis -vis sovereign countries as China and uh, India, in my opinion. It is not normal to have a foreign military base under any... You can be the best friends. Uh, we talk... You know, basically, we, we don't want to rehash the lecture. Okay, India has a conflict with China. Um, India can be best friends with America, but is India ever going to host American military bases? No, she's not. No matter how, what, an, what a great partner of America she is. Japan, there is no such thing as you're best friends with a country and you have your military bases. Japan lost the war. Their nationalists seem to be in denial about that. But to their flips, they weren't defeated by the Chinese nationalists. They were defeated by the Americans and the Russians in the Northeast. Why doesn't China attack Taiwan? Okay, as Ukraine, uh, as Russia... Okay, these are not the actual lines of actual control. This is demarking what I think Russia would want to get. Just as a disclaimer, I forgot to take off the map lines. Okay, why does China not attack Taiwan as Russia attacked Ukraine? Ukraine is wide open country. The threshold for annexation of territory attempts would be much lower than that required of Taiwan. Taiwan is a defended moat. The problem is the China needs China would need a superiority factor much greater than the Russians. If Russia needs superiority of five to one china would need ten to one because this is this is basic sun Tzu. when you're if you attack a defendant fort you need what is it the, the traditional ratio 
two to one. You need the attacking force must greatly outnumber the defending force. You got a big problem with Taiwan because this is the oceans. The ocean is what's this moat here is the reason why Taiwan has not been annexed. So uh, traditionally, China is a land power. So um, basically, uh, Mongolia recently published their map about their, you know, basically what they used to control. Uh, it's a good thing China does not claim the Republican maps where Mongolia is part of China. Basically, it would be much easier if China wanted to take over Mongolia. It would. It is taking over this. Let me tell you, for military science, taking over a much larger region, if she wanted to, is what well, 10,000 times easier than trying to grab this. This is a lot harder because this is the most treacherous defended moat you can imagine. This 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 is the this is the military this is the military science nightmare scenario. You you want to know so when you want to know why China has not made an attempt on Taiwan formally, other than their you know stupid propaganda, it's because you need a, you need an advantage factor much greater than that of Russia would need into Ukraine. Do, do you see any real mountains, choke points? This is this is all flat. This is flat country. There's some rivers. There's some urban centers that that could be based basically uh points that they're contesting but basically this for russia up theoretically up until the river nipro this is all open c country so if you flip the if you flip the coin around um if taiwan switched places with mongolia if taiwan was located here and if mongolia was located here Taiwan would be annexed overnight. The reason why Taiwan is not annexed is not this is not a morality argument. It is it is in China's interest to control Taiwan because that gives them the ability to control the first island chain and to project power globally. Okay? Why do you think Japan what do you think Japan was doing over here? What do you think Japan was doing around Pearl Harbor? What the hell were they doing? Okay, so there are strategic reasons. Okay, the reason why China has not attacked Taiwan is because this is mili this this ocean is military science total nightmare. Um, if Taiwan was here, this is 72 hours annexation. If Taiwan was here, 24 hours annexation. Even if even if Taiwan was here, and China had to go through a third party illegally. This would be annexation in a month. Okay, the problem is, if China had a land corridor to Taiwan, if there, okay, so let's, let's imagine there's, let's imagine there was a, there's, let's imagine there's a natural land corridor. Okay, imagine there's a land corridor, uh, we're almost something like the Hainan Island, but imagine if it was connected. If there was a land corridor, um, Taiwan is finished, um long time ago probably from the 1970s onwards if there let's just let's just narrow the let's just narrow the land corridor to make it even more narrow let's just make it a highway of you know what let's no 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 let's make it a true highway of death really much a land strip that's much more narrow okay if this was the only way in and out taiwan would have fire control or basically be able to pummel them <laughs> this is like the 300 spartan scenario if there was a, if there was even a tiny land corridor, Taiwan is finished. No matter what, no matter what the casualties, Taiwan is finished. What is protecting Taiwan is the military science nightmare, which is the ocean, the ocean, the ocean, the ocean, the ocean, the ocean. A naval war, a naval invasion where you need a, a, an advantage factor so many magnet times, so many, so many times greater in magnitude than Russia vis-a-vis -vis Ukraine. 